Hey, wouldn't it be very cool if we could chop down every tree that we see right here? Oh, like this. Boom. They fall down, break, and spawn into logs. And also, I would like to be able to pick up all kinds of things in the forest, like rocks if we can find them, like these, or maybe sticks. Ah, yeah, like that. Perfect. And everything that we can see right here can be interactable. Let's chop down another tree, right? This one. Bam, bam, bam. Boom. Perfect. So everything that you see right here is interactable. And that is what we do with a um, mesh to actor swap system. With that system, we can generate massive forests with PCG. Uh, uh, still make sure it's all instance and things like that and still be able to swap all these meshes to actors if needed and all for multiplayer environments and uh, single player environments like this it's nice let me show you how this works if you get the system you will get this specific map and uh, this will show you all the kinds of examples that you will need um, the most interesting one of the things to show is that these that you see right here these are just static meshes as you can see um, this is an example pcg uh, environment where we uh, can clean it up and and also generate again like this perfect and this will create all kinds of isms or isms and things like that and it will have an array of indexes yeah here uh, all of these instances that are created by uh, 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 the pcg volume and while walking around we can swap everything back to a uh, an actor so we can make it inter interactable things like that and i think i want to discuss two things for you first of all how this set up uh, and second how to add this to your own project these are just static meshes and if we are going near it then it will swap to an actor and this actor this will have a collision box let me show you and in this collision box that one has an interaction uh, trace to say hey block that one so we can look at that box and when we hit that box then it will say hey pick up the stick and if we go near any of these then it swaps to an actor so it makes it a pickup actor which is very cool the same happens for the tree so however i don't want the tree to swap when we are near it some items like trees or mineable rocks and things like that i only want to switch when we are hitting something in this example map i have not included an equipment system and things like that or even choppable trees but please know it will work on that the second thing that's important to know is that these, when they swap to these uh, 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 actors, obviously they eventually need to clean up. Uh, they eventually need to make sure, okay, convert back to a static mesh, right? Because if you walk around in a huge forest and everything is uh, swapped to an actor, that means that you probably in the end of a gameplay session, maybe you have 20,000 actors loaded in and you don't want it. So basically what we have is these things have an uh, uh, actor component for respawning for items. And here I have an example of that. And uh, that one is maintaining and uh, responsible for respawning. However, it does not have to respawn as an actor. It could also respawn back to a static mesh. Here on the left you see that the collision sphere is not there anymore so that means they're now static meshes again and if i go near them they will uh, be actors again which is cool um, and that uh, respawn actor manager that one is responsible for hey uh, am i going to respawn as an actor or am i going to respawn as a static mesh and if respawning as a static mesh should i inject myself into an instant static mesh uh, uh, for instance for the pcg or should I just respawn it as an actor? In this example right here, we have uh, meshes laying around to think mushrooms, fiber, sticks, things like that. And everything will swap when you are uh, in the radius. 
and let me show you quickly how that's done. These are static meshes, so you won't see anything right here. Now for these, I just place as an actor, and this one is this actor respawn uh, 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 component. And this one will have respawn settings, uh, which you can uh, predefine. These will look like this. What is the respawn time? Uh, uh, should I respawn at a, a random in radius? Uh, if so, uh, what, what, uh, what is the radius be? An inactivity timer. The inactivity timer is simply um, uh, for it to be able to swap back to, uh, let's say, a static mesh. Um, what else? And some other, um, um, for this irrelevant, but that's more for trees and things like that. If you have the trunk, uh, things like that. And here you can determine, okay, do we even respawn, etc. I'm going to show you something. If I'm going to open this blueprint here, let me open this pickup master or pickup leader. If I select the respawn actor on this pickup item, I can open up this advanced tab. And here it determines, okay, should I respawn as a static mesh? Uh, uh, respawn static mesh with swap activation on overlap. Well, that's when we are in the radius. Or, uh, and start inactivity timer on begin play of actor, uh, uh, which could be useful in some use cases. Uh, beginners really don't have to worry about these settings. I've already predefined everything, so it simply works well. So let me tell you more about how this works. Well, I have a data table. Uh, I think it's called DT mesh to actor swap. Okay. This data table defines, okay, which specific static mesh uh, uh, should I swap to which specific actor? And this could be any actor that, that you have in your project. And I like to predefine is this more a swap on, on hit or should this be a swap on overlap radius? Uh, and I have an optional link name that's not useful for you. Uh, that's more for um, auto mapping things. Because if you uh, take a quick look, you see there are no rocks here, there are no sticks here, things like that. What I do is uh, on begin play, I automatically map all the inventory items that we have uh, to the pickup master blueprint. So we actually uh, be able to swap it uh, automatically. And um, swap on hit, that's something that we do check on when we hit something with equipment. Uh, that's simply a function that you can call. Um, let me show you the function real quick. Uh, and the other one is the um, on overlap and that overlap radius is spawned by the actor. So basically the next question will be how to set this up in your own project. And on the palm uh, that's included in this project, I have set up a component. This is called uh, action component mesh to actor swapper. Let me open this one. And this one has a, a couple of key events. This is specifically the event that you want to call if you want to try and uh, check if you should swap a static mesh into an actor. Uh, so if you uh, implement your own equipment and have like melee or uh, firearms or things like that, you should try and call this event, which is basically is going to try and swap if it's uh, able to find it in, the, uh, in this data table. However, it's not only doing that from that specific data table. As you can see right here, on initialization, I do a store mesh to actor swappable info. Um, and I have included this specific function for you. Uh, just as an example, if you have your own inventory system, then you should remake it for your system. But what I do is I loop over all my inventory items that I have in my project. I am uh, getting the mesh, getting the path string, etc. And uh, the optional link name, I uh, include the row name of the uh, DT item because I'm using that row name again to automatically say, hey, I want to get that specific info from that inventory item and spawn that into the uh, pickup master blueprint that we use. So because of this specific uh, piece of code, we don't have to set up any swappable info for, um, for all our inventory items. Please be careful. This could result in a couple of bugs. If you have 
uh, static meshes that you also use for your inventory item but also just placed in the world while you don't want it to be an inventory item then it will still swap to that inventory item so the workaround there would be duplicate the mesh uh, give it another name so it doesn't find it but i assume in most cases if you simply have the mesh of an inventory item you want it to be that inventory item the other thing what this does is it will initialize an overlap swarm and this one will make sure to trigger the overlap events now let me tell you how to set this up in your own project i want to note a couple of things before going into depth um, this example project has a lot of different examples with the uh, inventory system things like that and if you want to use it for swap on hit things like trees or mindable rocks uh, you're free to use that however you would like however i did not include that uh, specific example here however it will simply work um, let me show you the palm you get this component you need to set this component specifically on your character however if you don't use our inventory system then you will get some bugs thing, uh, things like uh, the, the functions that you just saw just replace it with your own system uh, but please don't be a beginner for that that's more for intermediate to advanced users if you get this project it will also be a full project and that's because it uses uh, uh, simply a couple of plugins a couple of project settings um, specifically for the interaction trace for the pickup item that is uh, using some uh, uh, custom collision settings um, also i have made a specific object type called mesh to actor swap which is also here in the object responses so these are all things that need to be set up in your project settings if you have any of my other systems of the same version then this will automatically already be set up however if you want to use this in your own project then you need to dive into these configurations and try to match it and make sure it uh, works for you the inventory example that you'll get in this project um, that will also include this actor respawn actor so if you have your own pickup items you need to try and implement um, uh, a system like this for your own pickup items or you could use uh, this specific actor component however uh, that this is really for more advanced users you really need to understand how it's swapping it uh, how it's injecting it back however it's a great template for you to uh, to check out the code but for beginners it's obviously quite easy just use the system as is and um, uh, don't try to adjust the core um, for the pcg stuff let me show you a couple of examples in this example here i am spawning a stick uh, but i want to tell you about the requirements for it to be able to swap so if you use this system then obviously this mesh needs to be in the data table or in automatic mapper however it needs to have a couple of settings it needs to set on generate overlap events if it doesn't it will not trigger the swap the collision preset needs to have the object type mesh to actor swap and it needs to have an overlap on the object response of uh, uh, a mesh to actor swap and the collision enabled really needs to be set to query uh, or query end uh, because the query uh, is, is, is responsible for the overlap events in summary this is a great system uh, especially in addition to our current system if you uh, get our pcg forest or uh, our one of our templates things like that uh, you could use this uh, system to basically make large uh, forest and still make things uh, interactable which is very cool and uh, especially for performance reasons this is the way to go i hope you really like this i have enjoyed a lot making the system um, and I hope you really have a great day. And please feel free to reach out if you have questions. I'm happy to talk about the system. And uh, any feedback is always appreciated. I always try to improve, so please don't hesitate reaching out. I hope you have a great day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below via Discord or mail. 
And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.